Welcome back my friend to another video. Today's video I'm going to be doing a balloon kiss. This is a 12 by 24 level 1. I do have it taped <laughs> this time. Push pins in the bottom. I'm going to do a split base. I'm going to make a curve down the middle of this. Um, the colors that I will be using are grayish blue by artist loft these are mixed with 70 percent glue wall 30 percent floetrol there is about an inch of paint to an inch of glue in here the pouring medium and then i added a tablespoon of american floetrol and this is the other half of my base. And this one is, um, I don't remember if I used Blick Titanium White or if I used uh, Liquitex, but I think it's probably Blick. And that's that. Okay, and then I have, I'm gonna be using a sponge brush to make my curves glitter off my canvas. And then I've got a variety of colors over here. I have a, I believe this is light violet by Artist Loft. Nice pretty purple. And my colors I'm going to stream along the middle of this <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, and then my green here, I do believe, is Aqua Green by Artist Loft. These have been sitting for a couple days, so hopefully I'm not going to have any air bubble issues. But if I do, you know, that's what it is. We work with it. Oops, I just broke that glove. Okay, and then this is Metallic Lemon Yellow by Artist Loft. It's bright, beautiful yellow. And then um, I was doing some shopping for my grandma the other day, and I went to a Bed Bath and & Beyond, and they had Montmart paints, Montmart you pronounce that <laughs> and this is not this color but yes it is Montmart they had a set of these there's like 48 36 milliliter tubes for 30 bucks so it was like right on because the lady that I watch that does these balloon kisses that is the paint brand or one of the paint brands that she uses so this is the orange by Montmart and I also put in a little squirt of the light coral by uh, Masters Touch and then this cup here is this old mauve by Montmart and I've also added a dash of some rose gold by Deco Art. So it gave this a nice little metallic y shimmer to it. Nice. And then in this cup here, I have some <coughs> Deco Art Americana Metallics Berry with black. Mars black and this is a luscious color. I love it. It's like cherry kind of wine beautifulness. Wine berry. I think if I put a dash of gold in that, that would be beautiful. All right, let me get my gloves out of my way. And then the last color I have here is Cerulean Blue by Artist Loft. 
And I am going to add a touch of this dragon glaze into this blue just to give it a nice little shimmer, added shimmer. Give it a nice little soft stir to not add as so many out air bubbles. Here, so you can see what I'm doing. I have a tendency to do stuff closer to me, and then you guys can't see what I'm doing. So, help. apologies for that. Look at that beautiful shimmer. It's gorgeous. And then, with this getting swiped. Oh, am I going to swipe this one? Hmm, how am I going to do that? Oh, I think I'll just blow it out. <coughs> Kind of like a Dutch pour, and then I'm just going to stir this slowly. But kind of like a Dutch pour, but not. It's kind of like a Dutch pour bloom combined. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to add some little wispies into that. Not this, but the painting. Okay. We got a nice little light stir. Beautiful shimmer. Beautiful shimmer. All right. So let me go ahead and let's get this started. We'll be using the balloons, the little big balloon here. And my balloon that's stuck to my, <laughs> I might not be able to use. There we go. It's stuck to my resin set. <laughs> And then I'll be using this little, this little balloon as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. Move this stuff out of my way. <coughs> Pardon me. I won't be able to reach over here. Without knocking stuff over if I don't move it. edge over here. Okay, that should be good. Out of my way. All right. So, pour this out. Just make a nice little that. Maybe some more over here. And then I'm going to take my little sponge brush. Oops, making a mess. <laughs> uh, okay. Take my little sponge brush. Paint it. Try to get a nice even coat layer on it. Adjust my curves if I need to. So <coughs> this is of course inspired by Jilly from Jilly Cube. She has done a few of these, quite a few of these, because you know, this is what she's known for. It's her balloon kissing. At least that's what I know her for. But this one she did a few months back, I believe it is. I've watched it a few times. <laughs> I've also watched her mixing videos quite a few times. And she just did one recently where she used American Floetrol instead of or actually not American Flo yeah, she did use American Flow Trail, but she also, not in her paints she didn't, she still used Australian, but she says that American should work just fine, so I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, she um, used the glue all, so it does work, 
nicely, as you've seen also in my last paintings that I've done. This method. Which if you follow my channel, you know that this uh, is like my fourth one. And they're very relaxing and very soothing. And I really need that right now be in my space. So I might play music for you through parts of this. In fact, I'm sure I will because this is without needing to let my mind go. It is also still a lengthy painting technique. Hmm. Still leaving quite the lines in my paint here. I don't like that. Hopefully that'll level out these lines in here. You hear that that noise, that consistent the motor. My spinner I just purchased a spinner tumbler for tumblers and coffee cups and whatnot vases. And uh, <coughs> it's running right there. Hopefully that's not too loud. If you can't hear me, you probably can't hear that. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> All right, so we're, I'm good here. Hopefully this will level out. And I'm going to go ahead and start here with the purple. Just drizzle a line. Try to keep it along the line that I have. Oh, it dripped a little bit. <clears throat> I'm trying not to put leave too much paint on here, so let's go ahead and add a little more in here. I don't have a whole lot of paint on the canvas. Hopefully, I have enough. don't want too much because I think that's been my issue the last couple times is I've had too much paint on here. All right, and then we're going to go with the aqua that I almost forgot about because it was up high. <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay. Yes, he clear through the smoke you created. I feel my feet on the ground and they're shaking. How am I supposed to save the situation? Why the steps get wasted? This here is my uh, Australian Float Troll 4 to 1 with Titanium White by Amsterdam. Just squirt that right down the middle here. And I'm actually going to use a little hair dryer, a Yeeho, to blow it out. I was thinking about using my mouth, but I'm going to go with the boat there. Sorry about this. My Yeeho makes my light go out for some reason. Get my pink goober out of there. Okay. I'm just going to run along this. And this will help hopefully give me some beautiful cells and lacing in this. And that was the end of that. So. Well, I think that's not working as well because I don't have as much base paint down. So, let's do this. I got blood on my hands right now. And I'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn. I have found new ways, but no, I can't be the one that you need. Yeah, you know.
And now let's start kissing. And see how we do. It's so pretty. Zoom in for you so you can check it out. Sorry about the bouncing. <coughs> Excuse me, right there as well. See the cells in here are they scooting? Oh, you can't see that one. Sorry. In here you can. Okay, so let's go ahead and take my balloon and start to kiss him. Ooh, it's so pretty. Wow, that was really pretty. Not really quite what I was looking for, but that is pretty. Got my paper towels here right handy. Oops. Dab that sucker right on me. I want this out from under my paint cup. I can use it. <coughs> looking more of like in a line now than it was. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, there's a lot of paint there still in the middle, not so much on the side. That's starting to dry out. So that's nice. Pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Of that too. <laughs> Not that I helped that out any though. Okay. Here. And we'll go right there. Oh, that one's pretty. A little one there. Wipe this off. It's better than it was there. Uh, let's see here. The blue's coming through. Apparently I have more white <laughs> than I do the grayish blue. Alright, I'm going to let this sit for about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and come back. Let that soak down a little bit, because that was piled up pretty good in the center there. I didn't blow it out quite enough, but not actually, you know what I'm going to do here. I do want. Wispies in here. We go to New Jersey. Your eyes sing. I'll be worried. You said it was nothing, but I know you get buried. The sorrow of us. The sorrow.
Okay, so I'm back. And it's only been a few minutes. And I walked away, come back, and quite frankly, I like it the way it is, personally. But I am going to get a couple of spots here, like the side. Oops. that paint right off of there, taking off that. Oh. Spot that dropped on the edge, if you cannot see it, I'll see. Okay. <clears throat> we are going to go right there, pull that up. right there. Where did I get that from right here? <coughs> I don't want to go too many times though because you don't want to get mud. You don't want to go into the mud. Let's go right here. Try to fix this a little bit. Mm. Might just be a little wild one over here. <laughs> be something like this little spot that oh, cover right up. <laughs> drip, a uh, drip. Okay, let's see here. Well, let's go right here, and I'm gonna go right. Hmm. Pretty, so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I have too much paint over here to make this look pretty on this side. Let's try right in here. Nope. <coughs> I don't want too much of that bottom part coming. But I guess it's all right because the white comes through on the bottom. <laughs> so. Do that. And let's go. Hmm. I don't really think I want to do much <laughs> to this at all anymore. That orange, maybe. Get rid of that orange. Be right there for me. Yeah. See the red underneath the orange starting to come out. So we're gonna go right. Raise up. Ooh, so pretty. <coughs> okay. And then let's see here. This too needs to be fixed a little bit. All right, let me see here. So I'm going to turn it around so that I can get. That view. Both angles here. Oh, not angles, but sides. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, this side definitely has less paint <laughs> than that side. Let's see here. I want to fix that. Let's go put some color on it too, though. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so. That's 
beautiful right in there. Lots of little cells. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, I think I'm actually going to call this one good. Amazing what this better what the balloon does and how the, it makes it look the effect that it gives gives leaves. So okay, so I'm gonna leave this. Um, I will bring you down so you can get a closer look. I'll be right back. All right, so that was the very first balloon kiss. Look at how it feathers all those colors in there. It's simply gorgeous. There's the petal I was using. I love how these little ones here got all the colors. This is beautiful. I hope it dries nicely. Beautiful little flower. They actually all turned out, most of them, except for these white ones, because there was too much paint up there. But uh, turned out nice shapes. So here's see all that beautiful cells in there. And then over here, look at that. How gorgeous that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, I'm going to go edit my video and speed through some of this. <laughs> so I will be back when this dries. All right, I am back with the dried results from the balloon kiss you just saw me do. And um, I am quite happy with it. When you see these little lines here from the paint, when I put resin over this, that'll go away. I won't show up, so it's okay. But look at the detail. And the, you can see the cells from the cell activator I put on there and blew out. Oops, I'm sorry if I'm hitting my microphone. But so pretty. It's so pretty. Try to get it all in a hole. There you go. So I kind of like it up and down in this angle. That all on the camera. <laughs> and I remember I was saying that you wasn't sure if you were going to be able to see these very well. You can. You can see them. Up in the top, too. Very pretty. So, yeah, you could do it anyway, either way. I think if I was going to hang it, I would do it probably that way. I like it. But I like it like that too. So that is it for this painting, for this video. If you, um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are not currently subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you get notified when I load new content. So. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed, and that is it for this one. So whatever time of the day it is for you, make it a good one, and I will see you next time. Take care.